Great to have you with us on the WB Mason post game. Bob Lorenz, John Flaherty, Jack Curry, and Michael K. with you. Game one of the ALCS in the books, and the Astros win it four to two. This certainly felt like a game the Yankees could win, tied at one, going into the bottom of the six. Yeah, you you had this game even with Justin Verlander, and you'd have to say Tyone was not great in this game, but he did a good enough job to keep the Yankees in it. When Clark Schmidt comes in the game in the fifth inning and gets that double play, I'm thinking the Yankees have something going here. But like we talked on the pregame show the manager's decision in an ALCS in seven games with the bullpen they're going to be talked about a lot sending Schmidt out for the sixth inning is going to be a conversation I think the Yankees are going to lament this game because of all of what the two of you just said this was a winnable game and for the Yankees to win this series we've already talked about it on paper the Astros are a better team so you've got to figure out a way to steal a game Verlander was tremendous tonight 11 strikeouts through six innings but you are even with him through five and a half. Once Schmidt gets through that situation in the fifth and gets the big double play, a tie game is a situation for your best relievers. The Yankees, if you ask them, would say they really like Clark Schmidt. This year, he would not qualify as one of their best relievers. It would be Trevino, Peralta, Holmes, Loizaga. Those are the arms I think you would expect to see in a tie situation. Schmidt's left in there, Michael. He gives up two home runs, and the game gets away from the Yankees. Well, you use the key word there, steal a game, and it seemed like they wanted to steal this game without using their big high leverage relievers. They had a five game set against the Guardians. They played last night. Wandy Peralta was used in all five games. All their big guys were used a lot. And I think let's try to get through this. But I think when it's the sixth inning and it's 1 1, you've got to recalibrate your plan and you've got to say, listen, we got to bring in the big dogs. All of a sudden, Frankie Montas shows up and that home run he gave up was really big. It's a big home run. I was just going to bring up Montas. We haven't seen this guy. All of a sudden, he's pitching in a game. Game, gives up a home run, a solo shot, no big deal. Well, it ends up being a two-run game at the end because Rizzo goes deep. Domingo Herman, is he on this roster? He didn't pitch at all against the Guardians. We didn't see him tonight. Castro got in the game and was able to give the Yankees an inning. But uh, the, the manager's decisions with the bullpen, especially the middle guys, are going to be a key to this series. Yeah, we're going to talk a lot about the bullpens on the rest of the show, but we should also mention just the futility at the plate from the Yankees. They struck out 17 times in this game. The Astros struck out twice and there was a moment in the third inning where Josh Donaldson had the ability with an out with a productive out to put the Yankees ahead in the game and he struck out and his at bats look absolutely vacant right now I was a proponent of playing Matt Carpenter his at bats just as vacant so the Yankee offense did not acquit itself at all and they did what they do I mean they did do well, you know, they had two home runs one by Rizzo and one by Bader so you know you, you need some guys on they couldn't do that and the interesting part is is that the, the Astros have the better bullpen. The Yankees actually got to Montero. They had an opportunity there, but then the guy who has struggled against them, Ryan Presley, strikes out three in a row and then gets a ground ball for the final out. So he was money, and that nailed down the win. Well, we'll have full game highlights coming up, but let's focus on what happened in the fifth.